Hello friends, I am Om and today we are diving in the fantastic world of Linux. And I finally installed Linux on my new laptop and that is Fedora 40. Well, the only reason I choose Fedora 40 over others is the vanilla GNOME desktop. And today we are gonna customize it. So, let's get started. So here I have Fedora 40 on my latest new laptop and today we're gonna customize it. So let's get started, shall we? Now the first and obvious step is to install GNOME tweaks and GNOME extensions. So let's go to terminal and type sudo dnf install gnome-tweaks and let me type this. I've already installed it. There we go and then we're gonna install GNOME extensions if your distro supports or else I suggest you to install the Flatpak variant. Just search for GNOME extensions. GNOME extension manager and go to Flatpak. Now this version allows you to browse and install all the extensions directly from the application and that is why I suggest it. Just go to the dash and copy these command and paste it in the terminal. Like that and run it. The extension manager will be installed at ease. Or else you can use the web browser version. And now it is time to install the extensions. So let's go to extension manager. You see I've already installed three of them. You have to search for user themes. Go to the browse and search for the extensions I have said. Go for user themes and just click on the install button and do the same for these two dash to dock and user themes and blur my shell for business and now let's enable them going with blur my shell but yes you have to customize it a little go to panels and disable the panel blur I'll tell you why later in the video now go to dash to dock and you can customize it according to your liking I personally prefer the default version so yes that'll be nice for me and now, let's install the, you know, themes and icon paths. So for this customization, I'm gonna go with Orchid's GTK theme. But not from the GNOME looks one. We're gonna download it from the official repository. Let's go with Orchid GTK theme. And go to the GitHub repository of it. And just download the zip file. Now we're gonna do the same with the icon theme, which I'm gonna use Papyrus. Papyrus is the most beautiful icon theme I've ever seen on Linux for obviousness. Just look at them. They are so beautiful and crafted with such love. Literally the illustration, the art is amazing. Just do the same with this one and now we're gonna extract them. Go to downloads, choose both of them right click and go to extract i've already extracted them now here we're gonna go on and right click on the install.sh now click on run as a program and it will install it at ease now do the same with papyrus go to install guide as a program but this one is can download a few stuff which i've already downloaded so i'm not gonna run it now here we have the two wallpapers which I've linked in the description. I'm gonna choose this one because I like it. Well, do we have a little enough? It'll be alright. Let's go to set as background. Set. And there we go. This looks so amazing. Now let's tweak and customize the desktop. Go to tweaks. Now first we're gonna enable Let's get maximize and minimize buttons. These are must, I must say. Unless you're a pure GNOME user. Alright, oh, I forgot to enable the extensions. Now enable user themes. Now go to weeks. Appearance. And now let's choose everything one by one. Oh, yes, I forgot one thing to tell you. I'm gonna use... Uh, what was that name? I don't remember it. Maybe Mibata. Yes. 
We're going to use Bibata Modern Ice Cursor. This works perfectly for Linux, GNOME, all of it I must say. And this looks pretty nice. Look at that. Yes, you have to do the same. Right. The installation process of Bibata is a little complex, not too much. Just go to the official repository, which I've linked in the description. This one. And here you have to go down and search for installation. Here I have Fedora, so just copy these two commands and paste it. And the cursor will be installed at these. Now let's customize it, shall we? So let's go on with this one. I'm gonna go with Modern Eyes. Like really, this looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Now go to Icons and choose Papyrus. Yes, this dust looks amazing. Like really. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Now we're gonna go with Shell and I'm gonna choose Orchid's Light. There we go. Orchid's Light for the same. Okay, it looks like it needs a little commanding for installing it on Libadvita things. Now you just have to open it in terminal, the folder. And now type as I am. Let me just increase the window size and text size. Now you have to type dot slash install dot sh dash l. L means libadvita. And there we go. This this will fix the errors and issues with the GNOME applications. Here you can see the theme hasn't been properly applied here. So we're gonna go with go to the tweaks again. Go to appearance. Okay, it, it has already done it. Look at that. Looking pretty nice, isn't it? And there we go. We have an amazing and beautiful. Let me just go here. There we go. We have amazing and beautiful GNOME desktop. It is pretty clean, minimal and beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And yes, for those who are asking, my laptop has AMD Ryzen 7. 5800H if I'm right and it also has NVIDIA RTX 3050. 4 GB RAM. Like really, it, this laptop is literal beast. The laptop name is Asus Vivo. What was it? Asus VivoBook 15 Pro Non OLED variant. Yes, that's it. Okay, it has applied properly here. Yep, this looks nice. Now, what am I supposed to do after this? Everything looks pretty nice. Well then, let me show you how this theme and customization looks on other applications. Let's go with weather. Let me dive. Okay, mark this. Or even this. Okay, it does not support cities from India. Let's go to blocks. Yes, this looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Let's go to calendars, maps. Yes, let's go to maps. Oh yeah, I forgot. Map has been updated and it looks pretty awesome. Like really. Let me just go to India. Let me show you where I live. There. Now where do... There. Maybe yes, there. So, where was I? Where was I? Um, let me just zoom a little. What is this? Gone push. The that bird. Oh, gosh. It's parent. Oh, gosh.
Like really the application looks so gorgeous. And yes, along with the amazing theme which is applied. Now let's open calendar. Where is calendar? There it is. Look at this. This looks so awesome. Let me just type study. Enter. Nice. I can add events like tomorrow I'm gonna create a lot of videos. Create videos. And there it is. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Like really. And then we have months. Nice. Now what else I can show you? The files app for obviousness. Nautilus. This looks so gorgeous. Look at that. Doesn't it? It looks amazing. Now what else can I show you? Yes. I've not applied theme here, look like that. Let me go to, to the profiles. Theme variant, follow the system style. There we go. Let me increase the size. Let's install new fetch. Soto DNF install Neo fetch. Yes. And there it is. Control L to clean. And now let's type Neo Wedge. There we go. But it doesn't look quite great. Especially with the light theme. So let me change it to... Um, dog. There we go. Beauty at the dog. As you can see, I have the mobile RTX 3050 GPU, a literal beast, AMD Ryzen 7 5800HS, and 16 gigs of RAM. Here we have Kurao 46 along with a 1080p display and Fedora 40. The name is Asus Viewbook. What was it? 15 Pro. Looks nice, doesn't it? Now, I believe that's enough. Alright, let me just check if this theme also applies to LibreOffice. Well, it does. Yes, I know I'm running this variant. Let me just change the view. Yeah. Well, let's go to properties. Where can I change it? I forgot. Window. Styles. Maybe somewhere there. Properties. LibreOffice. Preview. User interface. There we go. I want tab. Apply to all. There we go. That's what I was looking for. This looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And especially this theme is so gorgeous. Isn't it? Yep, it does look nice. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, then subscribe for daily dose of awesome risk content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video, till then, I am signing out.